Well, it was a big night for Republicans across the state, but one area Democrat was able to hold back the Republican voting surge. Congressman Rick Nolan won an extremely close race with Republican challenger Stuart Mills. Two years ago, Nolan topped Mills by about 4,000 votes. This year was even closer. It was about 2,000 votes separating the candidates, but again, Nolan came out on top. Our Logan Gay caught up with the congressman today and has more. So well, after last night's close race, Congressman Nolan can now breathe a sigh of relief. I've been through a couple of squeakers, and uh, today uh, in a conference call I learned that it may be the most expensive uh, congressional race in the history of the country. Now that it's all over, he's looking forward to going back to Washington. My first uh, couple of terms here have been successful. We've had uh, been effective in getting uh, some of the miners back to work and getting some of the loggers uh, back in the forest. and. Fixing, uh, you know, uh, 101 things around the district that improve communities. Congressman Nolan says the first thing he will do when he gets back to Washington is to finish unfinished business. My first uh, legislation, I think, will probably be to reverse uh, Citizens United. I certainly will uh, introduce the legislation to, re uh, to re uh, reverse that. Uh, I'm the only one who has a, a bipartisan sponsorship on, on my legislation to do that. When it comes to work Working with the new president-elect Donald Trump, Congressman Nolan is looking forward to working with him to make positive changes. I want to work with him and I want to help him uh, be successful in, uh, you know, stopping these bad trade deals and uh, getting everybody in, in America back to work in uh, good paying jobs. But he is ready for a fight. Uh, the Republicans have been talking about privatizing Social Security and turning that over to Wall Street and Medicare back over to the insurance companies. and. Uh, um, if they're going to try to do something like that, well, I'm, I'm going to fight them all the way. And in true Minnesota fashion, Congressman Nolan is choosing to spend the day after his big night outdoors. I'm heading for my deer stand. <laughs> There's no place that's more quiet, more peaceful, and more enjoyable. In Crosby, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Now, Stuart Mills last night at his election night gathering called Nolan a very, very skilled politician and said that he has a lot of respect for him as a politician, but disagrees with him completely on the policy side. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.